Hello YouTube, Heplinger here, we're back with some more Beyond Earth. Uh, we left off, well, we left off a couple turns till completing physics, 11 turns to getting a colonist, and a Kraken following our explorer. <laughs> I believe I was trying to find my way over here to uh, find a path to Far Base 1. Let's see if that's poss even possible. Uh, let's see our other explorer. What do we want to do here? Um, trying to decide if I want to get out and think. Need to get out of here and uncover what's under this darkness. So let's just work across the bay here. Next turn. Not a whole lot uh, going on at this point. We've kind of left off in a, a just a Consider a simple problem, slow point of trying to build up. Such as navigation in a spaceship approaching light speed. And I've got that a little too loud in my ear. Oh, I forgot. I left the. Uh, I, I kind of turned the sound back on. Was I was playing around. I uh, had time to play, but. It wasn't a good opportunity to play uh, um, and record, so I just kind of play. It was playing a game and stuff like that. Yeah, I got things a little too, a little too loud. Okay, return to game. Sorry about that. Yeah, let's just go across. Okay, resource pod, sweet. I crashed satellite, but of course I'm out of expeditions, but I'm not far away from base. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the farm going there. And choose research. Alright, trying to remember where we want to go with this research. Uh, oops, sorry about that. Scrolling out. Um, you know, actually before, let's, let's uh, refresh a little bit on what kind of things we've got going here on our quests. Uh, worm killing, not not focus on doing that too soon. Expedition at the crash site. Yeah, it's the crash site that I just could not seem to get to. Oh, because it's next to that nest, so they keep fighting me off. So, I'm not in a hurry there either, because I need to get some, some uh, units to come in and clear that nest before I can uh, do an expedition. Uh, unless I get them to, let's see, aliens will not attack tiles with explorer units, so I need to get one, level one of purity, and perhaps I can get over there. I uh, can't build ten alien units. Build a colonist. I'm working on it. Form steel science covert arc in Krabrost. Probably saying that wrong. All right. Um, I can't recall. Uh, do I have spy agency yet? How do I see what buildings I've got? Um, show buildings and wonders. There we go. I do have a spy agency. So let's look at covert ops. Everybody's traveling. Um, but I didn't send anybody to the right place. Okay. Let's... Let's reassign that individual and we can maybe then uh, complete that assignment. Because let's 
we got to work on our covert ops assignments. Okay, back to this. I don't have any uh, quests right now that deal with science, so uh, we kind of get to choose what we like here. Now, let's see what uh, what might benefit us at this time. We got Xeno Fuel Plant, Xeno Nursery, uh, plus 10 science, science from Xeno Mass, Scientist Specialist slots and xenomass well so we can extract xenomass we will probably be needing that at some point for our purity um there's genetic design have gene garden science and health but it requires a little too impurity okay that's probably a little beyond what we can do right now uh chemistry might be worth considering there um Alien life forms possibly worth considering. Culture from the alien preserve. I could probably use a little speed up in my uh, culture games. However, our, our science advisor is telling us to consider robotics here. Um, gets us attack jet, auto plant, uh, ferroxite mine, which I believe uh, there are other uh, things that we can do that uh, get science from ferraxite which would be beneficial to us um, artificial intelligence because we need to for our victory we need to get to we need to get swarm intelligence uh, nano robotics and swarm robotics so those are all places we need to go let's go ahead and I didn't mean to hit that what did the engineering give us? Plus energy. It's 10% production. Reveals titanium. Yeah, just it's not gonna get us take us long to get there. So let's go ahead and do that and let's queue up. Oops, no, that's not how I queue. Uh maybe shift. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Shift and click queues up science for you. So we'll do engineering and then we'll do robotics on the next on the next time time around. So next turn. So right now I'm just trying to figure out where our trade route options are. Um, I'll be nice to her for now and offer that. Allow that. So just see where our trade route options are and because uh, see now that I open that up. Or now I've found Farbase One. Perhaps I bet I gotta clear the path. I bet. Let's let's take a look at our trade route overview. Available around. See, Farbase One is not included there. But I bet if I here, ooh, 19 research, sweet. I guess it's like a lot closer to engineering. And I still have to clear that one tile before. That'll show up, I, I imagine. So we got that quest log updated. Let's see what kind of quest log update we got here. Times of plenty. Uh, with the depot now built, we've been able to amass adequate surplus resources. Question is, what do we do with our abundance of goods? Do we send it to factories or allow merchant freedom to trade it? So we get a quest decision. Uh, we also get to develop a virtue. Uh, looks like we're one away from getting our free virtue. Um, let's see what options we've got. Trying to figure out what we do and don't have. Okay. So we can do each city tile generates 0.25 science. Our extra culture, 30% of positive health. Less culture needed for virtues. Ooh, that's a good idea we're considering because if I take this little little bitty boost to science because I mean with my current population of about seven that's gonna give me almost two extra science eh, helps a little bit uh, um, that's gonna pop me down here to mean I can get culture so a little faster uh, I 
XP from combat, not really getting into a whole lot of combat. We could get a free worker. Um, outpost growth. I think what I'm going to do is hit these and then I'll get a free worker on the next time up, which would plus five energy from capital. Um, which would be good because that'll be about the time I get a new outpost and I can set a worker up for it. So let's go ahead and hit that one. We get a free virtue now. So let's take minus 10% culture needed for virtues. Uh, this is also going to give us a knowledge synergy bonus for 10% culture in every city. So those two together mean we're going to really um, speed up our virtue earning here. So let's choose that. Okay. Um, National Security Project. Oh, okay. This is activated. Um, so if I keep a an agent at headquarters, uh, I'll get that benefit. But for now, um, I'm gonna put my agents out in the field. Hopefully, I'll just gain some agents here soon. So if we aid in production, production, trade depots, or we can get energy from trade depots. Um, Let's go ahead and get good energy. I'm just feeling like maybe a little boost to that means we can we can pull off some uh, emergency buys. Uh, might need from time to time. All right, let's just get out here and explore a bit. And how many more eight turns for our colonist? Um, Let's take a look and see, do we have all of our best production? Yeah, we do, okay. Just want to make sure I'm building that as fast as I can, considering I, uh, agents have arrived. Considering I, I don't know, I'm not sure what I was going to say there. Okay, so now that we've cleared this path, let's take a quick peek. Oh, I'm sorry. I Made that pop sound probably straight in the mic. Take a look at now Far Base One is available route, so plus the energy and science. So let's get, I believe, if we go here, um, there, trade vessel is available. So let's create a trade route, Far Base One. Yes. Yeah, fantastic. Alright, and let's send him up this way. We're going to go refill our expeditions. updated dogmatic engineering our first shipment from far base one has arrived and has brought more than just goods it seems a group of stowaways smuggled themselves into the cargo they claim to be slaves escaped from the station they say the station has performed horrible genetic experiments on them designed to turn them into perfect soldiers they beg us to help free those who are unable to escape so they want us to declare their hostility towards Far Base One. Hmm. Well, I'm not really built for hostility, and also I'm getting some good benefit from that trade round, so I think I'm going to pass on that one. Okay, so we're in Tiangong. 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 Now let's go ahead and establish a network, and we will establish a network here too. Those are both very easy and short, short span of uh, turns. Gives our agents a little experience, and it will allow us to, uh, I believe, see what those nations have, our sponsors have going right now. So we'll go on to our next turn.
Instruct the children not to dream of toys or sweets. Instruct so them to dream of infrastructure. Repair facilities, combat rover available, titanium revealed. All right. This does not have. Okay, now yeah, let's go up here and we will take a look at that on our next turn. As you see, we've got the queue going, so we're on to robotics now. And uh, 25 science, turn 80. I don't think that's too bad. I feel like I'm a little behind on everything, but um, unfortunately, I didn't set this game up quite right, so I don't have the little score thing here like everybody else seems to get. Um, I can't look at it this way. Uh, so, Brasilia leading the pack. Brinko Iberia, of course. I'm right in the middle. So. And those three share a little bit of stuff with me, okay? Alright, so next turn. get our explorer back up here. Man, it's going to take a while to get him up there ready to go. And we will do an expedition here. Hopefully get something cool out of that. It'd be awesome to find some science and get through robotics pretty quick. Alright, I didn't take the time to look. Here we go. Okay, so we got some titanium up here. Um, but I think I want to come up here to settle. Um... Because if I do, I'll have that a correct. It's got a good set of stuff, especially if I can stay near enough to that silica to at least get that one. Because um, that's some good plus plus science, and then this can be plus science uh, as well. So that is where I will be sending that colonist. Um, probably when I have three o four. I feel like I should have a little bit of protection, so let's get a ranger up, just in case. And let's just give assignment to our person out here. Um, let's actually first let's look and see what our uh, what our thing was. Uh, steel science. Okay. Well. I'm not going to be able to do that just yet because that requires level one intrigue and we have level zero so we'll start with establishing a network and see where that gets us okay so uh, let's go back here and on to our next turn so slow movement but we will here in a few a few turns be able to send our colonist up to get a second outpost going uh, well behind on doing that I think I mean I don't oh, why can't I do that oh because the ranger probably needs to move okay can I move up there okay um, I'm probably well behind on that I don't know if I'm, I'm still trying to figure out if the uh, benchmarks of Civ 5, how, how well they apply in this game. Um, figuring out whether or not they, you know, Second City by Pop 4 kind of thing that is uh, relevant or appropriate. So. I'm sure it'll be fine the way I'm doing it. Just, just learn it, right? Okay, we're gonna have to kind of. We're gonna take advantage of the, having this ranger now and start thinning a little bit of this alien life. Um, we are Harmony One, which means alien aggression level returns to neutral twice as quickly. So, if we just kind of thin them out, work our way in, maybe clear out this nest. Uh, so we can get to that crash site. It, and then we can leave them alone. 
and it'll the things will return to normal and everybody will be happy so all right so over here we were able to establish a network they are currently working on chemistry colonist zero health so it's healed so not not too impressive but they do got a little energy yield so we can try to pull a little energy and get some intrigue up so let's take a look over here at Le Coup. Uh alien biology trade depot we have a little less energy um, whenever we can do siphon science that will be good for us but let's go ahead and do the energy let's see if that gets us a little so agent and agent fantastic I'll keep that up because I hope to make covert ops a, a significant part of this playthrough so Alright, so next turn we'll see what uh, what this brings us. I should really be keeping an eye on my, oh, I, that's right, I've got the the tech that, that protects him, don't I? Good. Okay. Let's just take that guy out. See who attacks us on this turn. Yep, I figured. I might throw a ball of crap at us. That's okay, we get a little little XP for defending ourselves. Oh crap. Oh my god. That was stupid. Okay. In this game, you do not want to move two tiles at once. You move one, you check that it's clear, and then you move again. Can't believe. Oh, freaking hell, man. Wasted my explorer because I wasn't paying attention. So, he got up to Agent. Fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, not enough intrigue yet to steal science. In fact, that developed less intrigue than anything else. So, we'll si try to siphon some energy. There's not much to siphon. Uh, they definitely have more science to siphon, but that's okay. We'll do the energy and see where that leads. Oh man, that that's a setback. In this game, it seems that uh, losing an explorer, well, it's not as bad as losing a colonist, but man, it is, it is painful. Um, okay, we've got a colonist to move, but let's let's take a look at what our new quest. Uh, oh, okay, colonist built, so now found an outpost, which we will be doing as soon as we can get this guy up somewhere safe. Um, we are going to escort said colonist with our ranger. Even though he probably needs a little healing, but uh, we'll take a chance. Um, build. We can build stuff. What do we want at this point in time? Um, our health is at 3, science 25, Culture plus five, um, 17 turns until we grow. Um, that, yeah, we're gonna have to build a network at our next place because plus science from copper. That's awesome. Um, Production from land units, plus energy. Boy, this is taking me a little thought, so bear with me. Um, I think I'm going to build another ranger 
because I'm gonna the one that I'm sending with that colonist is gonna stay up at that outpost so we will build another ranger for protection and all right so I think we'll leave it with that so what we're gonna do for our next turn we're gonna move our colonist up in this area and hopefully um, I'm not just missing out on this guy having expanded our or lady or whoever um, man I really want this area it's got some really good resources uh, so we're gonna get up there and um, this expedition has five turns left holy cow all right so we might want to build an explorer next because we've got a lot left to explore um, Hopefully some more opportunities for expeditions and things of that sort. And 97 gold not going to get us very far. So, so yeah, four more turns to a ranger, then we'll do an explore. In fact, let's just do that. Let's get in here. Let's get into our... Activate our production queue. And so next is Ranger, then Explorer, three turns after that. I think that's the way to go about it. Um, I'm not going to build a worker right now, because our neck, with our next virtue, we will take that one that gets us a free worker. Um, and yeah, so I think that's the way to go. So, All right, you two. Uh, it's been fun and I hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll bring more in a couple days. So until next time, keep playing, have fun. Mm -hmm.